filming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we are doing a book review on Love. Or is it? How is it pronounced? Aubrey. I think it's Aubrey. Aubrey. Okay. That's how I've been reading. And That's sorry, Aubrey. this book's a bit scruffy, but I've read it quite a few times and it's a bit used. Oh, okay. So, what did you think of it, Charlotte? Um. So, I have read this book twice. <gasps> Okay, a lot so of I times, yeah, then, a lot of times. Know? I normally don't read books like this big with chapters and stuff that many times. Like if it's thicker than I don't know six chapters, <laughs> I won't read it that many times. Um, and my opinion of this is I love it. It was every single time I've read it so far, it has made me cry. Well, two times. <laughs> <laughs> every two times I have read this. I have cried, okay? And I'm not a crying person, okay? I didn't cry at Fault in Our Stars, okay? I thought Fault in Our Stars... As we know from, yeah, the, from as we last know. time. Whatever. As we know, and I hated Fault in Our Stars, but you know. Um, so, yes, this is very dear to my heart. No. Um, Guys, just... there might be a few spoilers, by the way, so oh, yeah. stop watching now if you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like this bit because it has real event things that go in. They don't really cover anything up. They don't really make anything too cushiony about things. Like, so her dad and sister die in a car crash, Aubrey's dad and sister, and her and her mum are left, and her mum leaves her because uh, she can't cope with anymore. Every single time she sees Aubrey, she sees her dad and her sister, and so Aubrey's left alone until her grandma finds her and meets her and takes her home and stuff. And it just goes, it doesn't really cushion anything over, it just says how she feels and how hard it is to grieve over parents and siblings and stuff. So, I like this book. <laughs> we what? Go. Yes, now we have started. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot to count. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, so, love Aubrey. So, um... I do like the book, but I think, like, I do, I did enjoy reading it, because it's not like one of those books where I thought, oh, well, I can't bother to read this anymore, because I just really don't like it, but the way it's written, I don't think, I know this is kind of completely against what Charlotte just said, but I find that it's not really focused on the sibling and the mum, and that she would probably be more upset than she actually is in the book. <laughs> Which is really weird in comparison to what Charlotte just said. Um, and I think the story... I do like the storyline. And the way it's written isn't bad. But it's in a style that I don't particularly like. In a way, I don't really know how to describe it, but... Yeah, I do like the book, and I would recommend it to people, like, to borrow from the library or something, but I personally wouldn't, like, buy this book, because this is something I'm not going to read again. I didn't buy this so. book, by the way, because it's a different genre from what I normally read, so, but um, at a friend's birthday party, instead of giving out party bags, I got, we got books, and I chose this one, because I thought this was the best looking one. So yeah, I'm just going to put that in there. We're in a new bit now. Okay, you can stop recording. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh, and on Harrod. Yeah. It's on the iPod, do you have an app which sends video straight to YouTube if you want it to? Yeah. Oh. I think I'm actually on YouTube. Do you always need to Gmail account? Yeah, to have a YouTube account, you have to have a Gmail account. But you can make those really fast. Anyway, we're gonna stop this now because this is a bit weird. It's Are you recording it? <laughs> okay, so that was Charlotte's brother, by the way. Um, so Charlotte, if you would like to continue. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the recommendations that I am going to give you now. This week it's a series. Oh, not, well, it's not really a series. It's just a group of books that are kind of named after the same thing, kind of like Mister Man books. Uh, and these are called the Clara Spine books. So there's Clara Spine spells trouble. Utterly Me, Clara Bean, and Clara Bean, <laughs> don't look now. Nathan, if you do it one more time, I'm gonna go and get mom. 
Okay, so carrying on. So, carrying on. Clarice Bean Spells Trouble was my first ever thick book, I guess you can say. And it's quite easy read, it's big writing, big writing, and uh, I'm trying to find some like good pictures and stuff on here. Okay. And there's like pictures in it and stuff. <laughs> I think they're being nuns here, I cannot remember, I haven't read this in so long. But it's good, they're short, easy chapters, it's really easy to read. And I still love it, and they're all done in the same sort of way, and stuff, and <laughs> they're just really nice to read, and really easy to read, so if you're not into reading, and you're kind of younger, or, actually I still enjoy these, uh, if you're in, not into reading, read these. This, these are what got me into reading because I really enjoyed them and they were funny and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to start mine and goodbye, Charlotte. Bye! Hey again, it's me. Uh, <laughs> my book I'm recommending today is Apple and Rain, which I'm probably going to take off the screen in a minute because, yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to put this to the side. Okay, so Apple and Rain is a Carl Nugget book, and I might, like, I'm not going to make any massive spoilers, because we haven't said any probably spoiler things yet in this video, and I don't think there will let it be any video in this video, now I'm rambling and I don't know what I'm talking about, so ignore I just said that. Um, but Apple and Rain is a Carl Nugget book, I'm not sure whether they do that in America, or where Carl Nugget is, but... I did quite enjoy Apple and Rain because you can tell by the story when it starts it's about the mum and you can tell it's very particular. A few chapters the mum comes back because she's like left this child called Apple. Um, <laughs> Apple? <laughs> yeah. Her name is Apollonia. Oh, okay. So, or something like that. So, um,. I did at the beginning think, oh, well, this is just going to be, it sounds just like the normal, typical storyline of, oh, well, the girl's upset that her mum's left her and then the, girl, the mum comes back and then it's all happy again or they have a problem or whatever. But this did surprise me a bit, the ending and what actually happened. So I think it was more... Okay, so the editing, we have rubbish editing and we can't be bothered. So, especially with this app. So, um, sorry, I have an itchy nose, so I'm doing this. Um, I'm not sure where it left off, but I just think this book was better than I thought it was going to be at the beginning. And for the last few chapters, it really drew me in. And I did enjoy the book, despite like thinking that it wasn't going to be as great as it was at the beginning. So that is my book that I'm recommending for this week or 